I remember when I was your age, exploring my neighborhood, exploring in the woods around the house, and just exploring new places was something that I thought was a lot of fun. I'd like to share some examples of African American explorers so that you can also be inspired. We are going to be creating an artwork that is either shows one of the explorers and also we can show the, the person exploring in their field. Our first explorer is James Beckworth. James Beckworth was a mountain man and during the 1800s he helped to guide parties, groups of people through the Rocky Mountains. James Beckworth was adopted by the Native American tribe called the Crow. And he was able to speak the language of the Crow and also other tribes in, of, of Native Americans in the Rocky Mountains. This really helped him to be able to trade with the Native Americans and also to, to be able to lead people safely through the mountains. James Beckworth was also a fur trapper. So trapping animals and harvesting their furs was a way to trade with Native Americans and also to earn income. Here are, here's a picture of the Rocky Mountains. So we see they're very steep and they could be quite dangerous for people who didn't know how to navigate through the mountains. Our next explorer is Bass Reeves. He was the first African-American U.S. Marshal west of the Mississippi River. Bass Reeves was a, a, a police officer, and his he was stationed in Fort Smith, Arkansas. He would go into Oklahoma, which was then the, uh, called the Indian Territory, where Native American tribes lived, in order to find people who were trying to run away from uh, crimes they had committed. So he was chasing criminals. Bass Reeves had a pretty dangerous job because in those days, Fort Smith and the territories around Fort Smith were pretty rough places. Matthew Henson was part of the first expedition to the North Pole. He had to wear this really, really warm fur coat because we know that the, the North Pole is a very cold place. Many groups of people had tried to go to the North Pole and had failed, but Matthew Henson was part of this first group of people to ever reach that place. Bessie Coleman was the first African American pilot who was a woman and the first black person in history to have an international pilot's license. That would be a license that she could use anywhere in the world to fly. She was a stunt pilot as well. So she would fly her plane and do all sorts of tricks to entertain crowds of people, and it was a very dangerous way to fly a plane. I really like this painting because it shows Bessie flying her plane over a crowd of people. This type of plane with two wings is called a biplane. Here she is on the cover of a, of a magazine, and this magazine was the Aero News, and here's her plane that she's standing by. I really like this, this picture because it has a name that was used for her at the time, Queen Bess. And I really love this quote, the air is the only place free from prejudices. And she really does look like she's, she's enjoying flying through the air with her plane. Guy Bluford was the first African-American astronaut in space. Space exploration is, is also an unknown and uncharted place for many people to explore. 
Mae Jemison was the first African-American woman to ever go to space. The space shuttle was used during the missions that Guy Bluford and Mae Jemison flew into outer space. And here's an astronaut with the suit and the, the, the chair, the tool to, to be able to move safely through space. Sophia Dannenberg is a mountaineer. That means that she climbs mountains. She doesn't climb just any mountains. Sophia Dannenberg climbs the tallest mountains in the world. Mount Everest, which is the tallest mountain in the world, was, was, a, was a mountain that Sophia Dannenberg climbed. Here's another picture of Sophia Dannenberg. I hope you enjoyed learning about these explorers. Please choose one of these explorers as the inspiration for your artwork.